What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to do some dropshipping of AliExpress using your Equid. Equid is a great place to sell stuff online so we can get started totally for free. And there's actually a lot of places uh, like a website, for example, there's Instagram, for example, there's Facebook, for example. Uh, there's a lot of places where you can sell online here into the Equid. And we wanted to focus into how we can do some actual dropshipping. Dropshipping is the art to sell stuff that you don't have in your inventory but you just need to provide a dropshipping supplier into your store so you can stop making some sales without having to buy any item. You just need to list products from other uh, dropshipping suppliers. So we're just hitting to get started for free, create your account using your email, uh, as well as a passcode, verify your email, and you're gonna be ready into the very first part of your control panel. I'm not gonna be focusing a lot into how to set up your website, how to get started here into the Equit, because, because I want to focus right into the actual deep section of the dropshipping of Equit. So once you are here, created your actual Equit, we do have the free boson. So take in mind that the free boson is gonna be helping you to track only five products. We have essential features, zero transactions, free mobiles, fees, mobile shopping cards, and much more. If you wanted to go into the next level, here are a few other plans. So now let's focus into the actual Equit section. You want to um, look out for a dropshipper supplier. Of course, this links it into AliExpress. So if I focus here into my configuration, focus into applications, and here into apps, I wanted to go into the app market. Now here, if I go into the search apps, I wanted to type AliExpress and see if there's an application that can be helping me to get started with the dropshipping. So as you can see, we have the sub dropshipping. This is a China wholesale website and fulfill your orders. So I choose this one. The price is totally free. You want to take in mind that, of course, we wanted to look out for some free version because we don't want to invest like a lot. I make the actual installation. And now later on, the app is going to be automatically popping in. So I'm going to hit now into open app. And there we go. So what I'm going to go is to go into my actual dashboard. Actually, I'm going to hit now into go to the dashboard. Now let's go into AliExpress. Here into AliExpress, what I want to do is to focus into the item that I wanted to sell. So uh, here, what I did is uh, that I downloaded an actual product, then I imported that product, that product into the member center. Um, the sub dropshipping is going to be helping me to find related products of what I just uh, chose. For example, the crystal hole removal. So as you can see, here it is. So I wanted to get into view here. And the sourcing, of course, is going to be taking me into the actual target price. So I wanted to import this product into my store. So I'm going to hit into import. Now it says loading. And there we go. Acquisition successful. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with another product. Let's go and focus with something much more easier to find, like uh, some glasses or this actual hoodie or this uh, cap female. So I'm going to... Uh, choose this photo actually this is the one i think that this is the one that i was looking for i click into save the image all right so as you can see found another product and here you focus into how many sales you have done this product has done so far so as you can see have more than 535 or well, this one have 51,000 sales so you want to look out for the you want to aim for the one that has a lot of sales Right, so I'm going to focus now into let's say for example import. I usually want to export this product click here to confirmed, and then later on, what I want to do is to go back into my products to see what I have uh, so far. So I'm going to go into my products. So now that we know how to find the actual product and the order, focus into products and go into the QE. Here you can see that there's actually no products added yet, so we wanted to look out for the add now products. And this one should be taking us into the sub drop shipping. So uh, what I want to do is to look out for the warehouse that can be sending the product into the actual country I'm currently living. So whether you can choose the warehouses or you can go into the filter. So here into the filter, um, I wanted to look out for the same product I was looking for inside AliExpress. So as you can see, there's a lot of products uh, that we have so far here. I wanted to look out for uh, let's go for dishes. So now that you have found your products, you want to add all of those into the queue list. So if I go once again into my member center, I want to try to reload my QE uh, 
products so I can see one, two, three, four products. As you can see, we can add up to five products totally for free. So I'm gonna select all of them and then I want to list them. So I'm gonna choose into, let's say this one, this one, this one, and this one, and I'm gonna hit into list now. So this one is gonna be sent to me now into the ship drop shipping section where I can view the actual listing of the product into my store. So the focus into listed into your store. And now as you can see, here's my product. It's gonna be showing me the image, the SKU number, the color, the cost, the shipping fee, and how many stuff are into the inventory. So take this in mind. If I have the cost of $5 and the shipping fee is $12, I need to sell this above $17. Let's say that I wanted to sell this product for $22, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna be earning like two or $4 per sale. So I'm gonna leave it like this, into your price $23, and the shipping price, I don't wanna code the shipping price because the total is appearing there. Just one dollar, and there we go. So I have twenty-two dollars. Well, let's go for three dollars, and hit into ship my orders to United States. Now, if I go back into my Equit, I want to actually just uh, choose this back of the installation. I'm going to head down into my control panel of Equit. So then later on, what I wanted to do is to check it out the products that I have just imported inside my Equit just to make sure that the connection has not been listed. So let's go into the catalog and go into products. And here into product, as you can see, here's the price. Here is the enabled and here are the options. As you can see, we do have some sample products because we're, we're just getting started. So I want just to delete this sample product since we are gonna start uh, live. So if I focus into store, content i want to administrate the products for some reason this one appears in spanish but this one now appears into english i'm not pretty sure what that happened here should be appearing your products so if you already uh focus in that if you already enable that options and your connection between the actual equit and the supplier has not been added successfully just focus into your store and here is my product i click the and I just wanted to check it out if I am ready to start selling my actual product. As you can see, here's my product with a different color. I can add it to the list, more information about it, the description, the photos, everything has now been added successfully. And this is why we wanted to make some drop shipping because we didn't have to do like a lot of stops. Everything was controlled manually. So I don't even focus into anything but into actually just focus into the creation of my store. And then later on, I can control everything into the sale channel overview. So you can control, you can create the integration of Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, if you upgrade to the advertise on TikTok or upgrade to another version. But this is something else. And if you wanted to invest a little bit more into Equit, you needed to upgrade yes or yes, you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to do this in free version. So with that being said, guys, I think we are now ready to get started. As you can see, it wasn't that hard to get started with the actual store. Two products from AliExpress. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to see some more tools so you can do something like this. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and with that being said, I'll see you on the next video